I want to welcome you back to Black Sight, and tonight we're going to talk about Michigan Democrat with coronavirus. Credit President Trump was saving her life, and she thanked him for that. Let's go down to the article. Michigan State Democrat who was suffering from coronavirus credited President Trump with saving her life, saying on Monday, this is a constant touting of hydrochloroquine, what led to her to ask her doctor for the malaria drug. Representing Karen Whistler said she started taking hydrochloroquine on March 31st prescribed by her doctor after her and her husband sought treatment from a range of symptoms. March 18th, Detroit Free Press reported it was less than two hours before she started to feel relief, said Wesley, who had experienced shortness of breath, swollen lymph nodes, and what felt like a sinus infection. Wesley said she had taken the drug before, separate medical issues, but would not have thought to ask her doctor about it unless Trump had been repeatedly talking about it. It has a lot to do with the president bringing it up, Winslet said. He is the only person who has the power to make it a priority. When the Detroit Free Press asked her if she thought Trump may have saved her life, she reported, yes, I do, and I thank him for that. Trump linked the report to the right congratulations Representative Karen Winslet of Michigan so glad you are getting better. And this is Mrs. Winslet right here. And I'm going to tell all the people in the media who have been critical of President Trump touting this drug. This drug is being touted by doctors in France, the United States, even in China for helping symptoms of coronavirus. So why would the media constantly say that this is a hoax? The reason why they're saying it's a hoax is because whatever President Trump says that something is right, they will say it's wrong. See, you have to understand, you have a large percentage of the media out there who can care less about the health and welfare of the citizens of this country during this coronavirus. The only thing they care about is defeating President Trump. And like I said earlier in this video, this virus doesn't care what color you is, doesn't care what party you belong to, doesn't care about your sexuality. The only thing it cares about is a host to where it can settle in and try and kill you within hours or days. We have seen so many people pass away. So if this drug can help a few people, if it can help half of people, it is doing an excellent job. But we can't have the media constantly saying that this drug is some kind of a hoax. When you see a young lady right here who's African-American, who's a Democrat, and said that this drug helped her and helped her and her husband survive. And I want to know what Governor Whitmiller, that woman who's been on TV, who said, who signed a letter who signed an executive order at one time stopping people from getting hydrochloroquine. Now she reversed it because of this young lady right here whose life was saved because President Trump wasn't scared to take the beating that he constantly takes from the media to promote a drug that has helped so many people. It's sad that the media in this country is willing to take sides on an issue that has no sides. The only issue that we have in this country right now is defeating this virus. And if anything can help us, anything, I'm saying anything, any drug, we should use that drug. We have no perfect drug right now that can save everyone, but if it can save half of the people, it would be excellent. So I want to thank Representative Whitslet for coming forward and speaking. She didn't have to do this, but she cared so much about other people's lives in the country. She could have been a Democrat who was screaming from the sideline, but she didn't do that. She stood up and she said, thank you, 
to the president, someone she probably never supported, someone she, she hated, despised, but now she's thanking him for saving her life. That's what politics is all about. In a situation like this, when you at war, the only side is the American side. The people of this country side. I know many of you won't like this video, but this woman stepping forward is a hero because now there is a face on hydrochloroquine that people can look at and say, yes, it does work for certain people. And now CNN and MSNBC, Joe Scarborough, Mika Bozinski, and the rest of them over there can keep their damn mouth shut. Because that's what they need to do. I want to thank you for listening to Black Psych. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button. And share this video.